So one of the uh, one of the consequence of all these uh, new new drug and not enzalutamide, abalutamide, abirateron is that patients live longer and they live longer on treatment. And we tend to forget that there is really a backbone treatment, which is androgen deprivation therapy. And androgen deprivation therapy on the long term has cardiac and bone toxicity. Cardiac, because it's changed your metabolism, you're getting fatter, your cholesterol will increase, your muscle will shrink. So if you don't pay attention, you're gonna increase the cardiovascular risk of your patient over time. Does it translate into an excess risk of mortality? The epidemiologist would say yes. The uh, people who do randomized control trial would say no, but we have enough argument to show that it's changing the metabolism of the patient. So that we have to be careful. We have to monitor this, prescribe statin, prescribe drugs like metformin, control the blood pressure, but even more, we have to check and whether to see the patient may engage into regular exercise because regular exercise is one of the best way to alleviate the cardiovascular, cardiovascular complication. And the same stand for bone, to for the bone protection and the prescription of bone health agent that we forget over time but actually are very, very important to limit the risk of osteoporosis.